Hello, welcome to Game Over Gurkha Man, and welcome to the shortest um, episode of anything ever. I'm your host, Gurkha Man, uh, who is with us this time for this very short adventure. Wow, I'm here, you just I'm cut Adam, out I'm here. really bad. Still here. Well, apparently I'm having audio issues. Mm -hmm. Adam's here, who else is here? Adam's here, Sean, Bloody House here. Right here, always here. Here for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come on, baby, light like my some... fire. Ah, uh, love me some doors. Hi, Jess. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Just fine. Don't you love introductions? Yeah, good. Do do are you totally enthralled now that Mario has shrunk down to micro size? No, because he looks the exact same. Because everything else is the exact same. Well, just because we were we were fighting giant <coughs> bugs in the last level has suddenly made normal sized bugs look, look less intimidating. They weren't giant sized though. They're the exact same size as they were in the last one. Oh yeah. Yes. <sighs> imagination. <laughs> you gotta use your imagination for this game. I mean, look at that background. It's really intense. Look at it. <laughs> Looks. Like you're underground. <laughs> it's really bright underground. Oh look, there's a little texture. Is that How just do you breathe? I I don't know. <clears throat> I, I just don't know. This is a weird level though, because you go inside someone's house and you're all tiny. Yes. And there are books and everything's scale is all over the fucking shop, and I don't know why this person has a fire outside their house. <sighs> but it's concerning. A little bit. I would be worried. <laughs> yeah, when the house is burnt down, it'll be. It'll rain one day. She'll be right, love. Oh yeah, got my pluck on macro zone. There you go. Macro. I like that background of the grass. It's kind of cool. There, yeah, now you look like you're a little bit smaller. Yeah, because you've got stuff for uh, scale. It's amazing. You can see the grass back there. You're under benches, that kind of thing. Potted yeah. plants. That was something the Minish Cap did fantastically well, was make you feel small. Yes. When you're walking over, like, underneath leaves and things that are laying on the ground and yeah. shit. That was great. I've still never finished a Minish Cap. Oh, you should, son. I got all the way up to the end boss once, and I just think I don't think I could beat him. I was like, I need more heart pieces. And I was like, I don't want to go back and look for heart pieces. <laughs> I just gave up. <laughs> So I, will, I should play through that again. I know it'll be coming out on the Wii U Virtual Console, so I'll probably play it on that. Somebody that's uh, I've just noticed who about the stars, and in every other Mario game, when a star comes out, it bounces away. But in this game, for some reason, they just sit there and they wait for you to get them. Same with the hearts. They well, in the first Super <laughs> Mario Land, if you got a star, it, you'd have to catch an error, or else yeah, it would just, it just fall, fall off the, the ground. Yeah, it just falls through the ground. But in all the Mario games, they always bounce away. They just like, get back here, I need you. And then usually you end up dying trying to get the invincibility. If you're me. Yeah, these are the dodgy ones. The dodgy stars with shitty music attached to them. <laughs> wow. Well, the next, the next world has good music because it's out of space and everything sounds better in outer space. These bonus levels too, like I hate the fact that sometimes you already have the item that you want <coughs> and then it gives you something that you don't yeah. want and you're just like, F I don't want that. Let me keep yeah, the rabbit in. I think you can press left to just leave. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the more solving. you know. <laughs> it's a bit late now. The Goombas are back. Yeah, I think it's weird that Wario managed to get them to work for him. Usually they're just Bowser's guys, but for some reason... Wario's managed to convince him. This is Mario Land, like, this is actual Mario Land, by the way, if anyone's wondering where this particular game was set. It's much like Donkey Kong Country is set on Donkey Kong Island. Super Mario Land 2, not Super Mario Land 1, is actually set in Super Mario Land. A place that he's never so returned he to. So, Mario actually has an actual literal land, and not just the name of the game. Yeah, and that's his that castle. explain why, uh... That would explain why there was a uh, giant Mario talk with Mario. Because <laughs> he's really, really vain. Really, mm. really 
The princess just makes me fucking cake, so I'm gonna make a giant statue of myself to remind myself of how amazing I am at fixing plumbing. And then I'm never going to go back to my own land because I have to rescue Peach every yeah, other game. Yeah, I'll just let it rot. I just or, go wonder... to one of, or go to my, one of my own parties, or go to my own golfing tournament, or my own tennis tournament. It is kind of weird, the Mar, like... <clears throat> The fact that he hasn't ever been back. <laughs> What's I up here? That's something wrong. Gotta ring my bell. Ring, ring, ring. My ding a ling. My ding a ling. Why oh, do you have to ring that bell? Come on. What is the purpose of the bell? Um, I think it gives you the Why bonus level. Does it? Is that all it does? So That's you can exit does. without hitting it? Yeah, if you exit without getting it, you just don't get the bonus level. Uh, Gotta climb uh, into the roof. I wonder whose house this is. There's some scale seconds. for you. Books. That's a nice touch. This is what that first level needed, because I didn't... Yeah, like Jess said, you didn't feel small at all, but now... Well, it took place on the ground, so you wouldn't really see any man-made objects in there anyway. Yeah. This level kind of reminds me of Cool Spot. Yeah, a little bit of huh. that. Cool Spot. Cool Spot was great. Everyone here's played Cool Spot, haven't they? Yep. Have you played it, Adam? No. Oh. It's it's, it's probably the best licensed one of the, the best licensed platformer of all time, I'd say. Certainly the best advertisement game. It's even better than Sneaking. Did it even come out? Mm, I don't Australia? know. Yeah, Cool Spot <coughs> came out of Australia. I used to have it on my Sega. Oh. It came out on everything, everywhere. Mm -hmm. But they didn't, they, Shit. Uh, there was kind of like, they just sold it as a game here, because obviously you couldn't buy 7 up here. That reminds me oh, just, yeah. yeah. I need a, ah, uh, I can't because I have a, uh, PAL Xbox. I really wanted to get a copy of Sneak King. <laughs> sure. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Won't work. Boo. Sneaking, for anyone who's too young to remember, was a game where you played as the Burger King and you snuck around too and made people- Too young to remember? It came out, like, have six you, years ago. Have, yeah, that's like the average YouTube user. It's like six years old. Have you seen their spelling on their comments? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> have you seen the way they act when they see things they don't like? I'm sure mm. they're all six years old. Send all your hate mail yeah. to me. I'll gladly take it. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Sean. Join us next time for the final episode. We're going to go beat the Koopa. And by the Koopa, I mean Wario, who is not a Koopa. <laughs> He's... Well, yes. He's a fat fucking imposter. <laughs> <laughs>